Hey guys, thank you for stopping my channel. I'm wearing my winter is coming sweater. I know some of you are gonna be like, what? But it is so freaking cold out today. I literally had to scrape the frost off of my car this morning and it is at the zero, like at the freezing mark right now. I have to leave and get my kids new winter jackets after I film this video and I just needed a sweater. We just turned our heat on and it's just, it hasn't kicked in yet and this was like, at the top of the pile, so I guess I'm just embracing it. I was just watching some videos and lots of my YouTube friends are still wearing tank tops and I'm so jealous, but what can you do? That's where I live. My friend Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom here on YouTube, who you guys have heard me talk about numerous times because we're just really, really good friends. Um, we were chatting the other day and she asked me if I wanted to do a collab and talk about my VIB recommendations and also my wish list. So I was super excited because VIB sale is one of my favorite times of the year. So then we also got two of our other friends to join in. So this is a four person collab. Um, we're all gonna be sharing with you guys, like I said, our VIB recommendations products that we have that are tried, tested, and true. And we're also gonna be sharing with you guys our wish list and letting you know what we have our eyes on for the sale as well. And I know somebody's gonna ask, I do not have the exact date for the sale yet. Generally, it takes place the first, second week of November, so it's coming up. So we just wanted to get this video out or these videos out in plenty of time. So before I get into my products, just let me tell you really quickly who else is involved in this collaboration. But first, like I said, my friend Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, I talk about her constantly. She's just one of my best friends, um, but she has an amazing channel. If you don't already know about her, she does mostly beauty reviews, but she also does some home fragrance um, reviews as well. So if you are into that, definitely check her out. She's one of my absolute favorite people. Next is Lisa Stevens, and I have actually been meaning to just talk about her for a while now, so this is the perfect opportunity, but if you don't follow her, and of course all these channels will be linked in the description box, please do. She's absolutely beautiful, she's a mom of three, and she works at Sephora. So she's got a lot of great knowledge about the products, and she's just, she's really good with makeup, and I love watching her videos because she's just very real. It's like just watching a friend. She's amazing. So please check her out as well. And then finally, Linda from The Beauty Puzzle, who I also love and have watched for quite a while. Another mom, beautiful, beautiful lady who just has a great channel. And again, all of these ladies, Melanie, Lisa, and Linda are just very down to earth. And it's just, it's just like chatting with a friend when I watch their videos. So please make sure to check out their videos. Like I said, they'll be linked below. Give them some love because they definitely deserve it. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with my recommendations. These are all products that I have had for a while that are tried, tested, and true, and that I would repurchase and would highly recommend you guys purchase. I have one skincare item, so let me start with that. Okay, so the one and only skincare product that I'm gonna recommend because I think anyone and everyone can benefit from it is the Clarisonic. I personally have the Mia 2 and the reason that I'm talking about this in this video is because 20% off is actually a pretty good chunk of savings for this guy because it's not cheap. I'll put the price below. I know they're constantly releasing new versions of this and so the prices are changing. The Mia 2 is the only one I've ever had. I've had this one for about two years and it has done my skin wonders. A couple months ago, we got a leak in our bathroom. There was like a hairline crack in the tub. It was a mess. Anyway, while we had our bathroom repaired, we started using the guest bathroom and I just, out of sheer laziness, left my Clarisonic in our old bathroom and didn't use it for a few weeks. My skin just went to hell and I was like, what is going on? And then I realized I haven't been using my Clarisonic. I charged it back up, I started using it, and within like just a few days, I can't even tell you guys the difference. This just gives my pores such a deep cleanse, it exfoliates, and it just, it just does amazing things. When I don't use this, I notice a huge difference in my skin. It just doesn't look as glowy and as clear as it does when I use this. So definitely would recommend picking up one of these if you haven't already just take the plunge it's worth it 20 percent off is a great time to invest because i really do think this is an investment just in your skin it's so freaking good none of this stuff is sponsored it's probably going to sound like it because i'm going to be raving about all these things but they're just things that i love and that i really believe in so um the other thing is if you have one of these picking up some brush heads during vib is another great um, money saver. I know I'm going to be doing that. So Clarisonic. 
all the way. Okay, I also have one hair product that I wanted to mention, and right now I just have the smaller size of this, but this is the Dry Bar Sparkling Soda Shine Mist, and if you've got drier, frizzier hair, but you want to add a little bit of shine without making your hair look greasy, this is amazing. Like I said, I just have the 1.6 ounce bottle. I have been going through this pretty quickly because I've been using it every day, so I actually have the full size on my wish list, which I'll show you guys later, but um, you just need like the littlest bit like that. It also smells really good. I, I don't really know how to s describe it. Kind of like a, a warmer kind of baby powder scent, like slightly vanilla-y. I, mm -mm, I could be describing this completely wrong. The smell doesn't really stick around for long, so if fragrance kind of frightens you, I wouldn't worry about that, but it just leaves this really nice shine to my hair. So definitely gonna be picking up a full size of this, and even if you just wanna try the smaller size, 20% off is a great time to um, give it a whirl, so love that. Let's talk about makeup. I've got so much of it here. Okay, I'm gonna try and talk fast. All right, the first thing is the foundation, and I chose a luxury foundation to share with you guys for this video because this is sale time, so if you're gonna splurge, I think now would be the time to do it. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's what I have on my skin today. It's what I wear. This is what I wear on my face 75% of the time. I absolutely love this foundation. It looks so seamless. You can build it up. It just creates the perfect canvas for anything else I want to apply. It's just, it's the perfect base. I cannot say enough about this stuff. It's expensive, but it's one of those products that I think is worth the splurge. Um, it's in a glass jar. It's got a pump. It wears all day. It doesn't like settle into fine lines. It doesn't emphasize pores or fine lines. It just looks Flawless. It is the best foundation I have tried to date, and I just cannot say enough about it. If you've been eyeing it for a while, 20% off is a great time to try it. It is so good. It's just, it's so good. Next is a concealer, and this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. You guys, this has outdone every other concealer I have tried to date. The coverage is amazing. I have really dark under eye circles. So this, along with the product I'm going to show you next, has been working wonders for me. But this is better than, in my opinion, the MAC Pro Longwear, which I used for years. Um, it's just a little bit more blendable to me. It's still got that great coverage, but it's just a little bit less thick, I suppose. And it's just, it's just easier, and it gives me a more seamless kind of application and finish. And... I love it. I highly, 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 highly recommend this um, concealer, especially if you've got darker under eyes. Amazing. So in conjunction with this to fight my dark circles, I also use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I held off on this for so long, and I think I actually got this at the last VIB sale. I use this every day. I and just as a side note, the Real Technique setting brush is the perfect brush to set your concealer with with this product. You can get this at Walmart, it's not at Sephora, but great brush for this product. This product just sets my concealer and just gives me that extra bit of brightness. These two products together have been working wonders and I really don't see me switching up either of these for quite some time. Another product that I've talked about for years that I love and I use daily, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I have two. The one that I tend to reach for the most is Ethereal Light. It's just a really beautiful, it kind of just shows up sheer on my skin, but it also just helps blur imperfections and give me this little bit of radiance. I absolutely love this as a setting powder. The other one I have is Luminous Light, and I switched it up today and I actually use this one as a setting powder. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but nothing that transfers in a really harsh manner. I mean, you really have to look for it. But I also like to use this one as a highlighter. This just adds a little bit of warmth to my skin because it's a little bit warmer toned. Well, it's quite a bit warmer toned than Ethereal Light. Both of these are amazing. You can use them as all over setting powders. You can use them as highlighters. I can't say enough about these. Again, just a higher end product that I think is worth the money I have gone through an entire ethereal light and repurchased, I will continue to repurchase these. And again, 20% off is a great time to invest. 
Okay, I've actually got three eyeshadow palettes. Let me start with the one that I have on my eyes today and the one that I just generally reach for the most. It is the Too Faced Natural Mattes Palette. You guys, this is amazing. You literally have everything you need just for an everyday look. You can do something a little bit smokier, something a little bit softer, something a little bit kind of mid-tone warm, which is what I have going on today. These are so blendable, they're so pigmented, they're beautiful, they're seamless. Any combination of these colors is gonna look phenomenal together and they just stick around all day. I cannot say enough about this palette. I love it. And it's one of those palettes that can take you through literally all the seasons because like I said, you've got the darker colors, the mid-tone colors, and the lighter colors. So you can just switch these up and, and just get so many everyday sort of natural looking looks. Probably my favorite palette in my entire collection. I love this thing. The next one that I love is the Becca Ombre Nudes. And again, just a beautiful, beautiful matte palette. You don't get quite as much color variation with this one as you do with the um, Natural Matte from Too Faced, but these are just gorgeous browns. And I also reach for this a lot as a complimentary palette to some of my more shimmery palettes or just shimmery eyeshadows that I have in single pan form. Again, these are just gorgeous, blendable, stay around all day pigmented shadows and I can't get enough. I actually might pick up the new edition of this, which is the Ombre Rouge, and they're slightly more ready and warm toned. <laughs> okay, and then the last one that I wanted to recommend is the Naked Basics 2. The reason I'm throwing this in here is because it is a little more cool tone than the other two. I generally gravitate more towards warm tone shadows, but for some reason, I love this palette. It's also really, really great for travel. Um, this is a really great compact, like this, this is not going to get broken easily. Well, knock on wood, but, um, I just love it. And again, just great neutral colors. You've got this darker color here. It's not quite black, but it's a dark brown. So you can do a little bit of a smoky eye or you can use it as liner blendable. Most of these are matte with the exception of skimp, which is a it's not really, I, I would say it's a satin. Really, really pretty, really, really just perfect for every day. All three of these, I love. Okay, two more eyeshadows that aren't in palette form. Um, these are the Giorgio Armani eye tints, and I talked about these at length for a few months. I cannot get enough of these. They're so, so pretty. I like to wear them on my lid. They're so, look at this. I'll insert better swatches for you guys, but these are amazing. They stick around all day again. The two that I have are Rose Ash and Senso. Senso is beautiful, especially this time of year if you wanna just blend it all over the lid and then up into the crease. I particularly like using Rose Ash just on my lids and then I'll add like a matte brown from the Becca Ombre Nudes in the crease. You guys, it just looks professional. It looks very put together. These shadows are stunning. There's just something about the way the light catches your eyes when you're wearing them. They just look gorgeous. So both of these are amazing. There are some other colors to choose from. I might pick up another one during the sale. I don't know. I have way too many things on my wish list right now, but these are awesome. We're almost at the end of my recommendations. I have a few cheek products and then a mascara. As for blush, Absolutely any of the Clinique Cheek Pops are phenomenal. I have three. I have Ginger Pop, Nude Pop, and Melon Pop. Um, Nude Pop is my favorite of the bunch. I would say it's probably best for light to medium skin tones because it is, you know, a little bit on the lighter side. It may not show up as well on darker skin tones. If you're in the light, fair, sorry, to medium range, this is beautiful. And then I think would be great for all skin tones would be Ginger Pop. It is really pigmented. It's just this beautiful, beautiful, kind of deep, gingery color, I suppose. It's a good name because it's true. So, so pretty. And then Melon Pop uh, might work best again on lighter to medium skin tones, but just a really pretty kind of peachy pink that I wore a lot in the summer. But these are amazing blushes. Again, they apply really seamlessly, they stick around all day, they're blendable, I love that. The other sort of blush that I wanted to mention is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Rose. This was one that I contemplated for so long. 
but it is stunning. I would actually recommend any of these. I have sandstone. I think this one might have been limited edition. I think the other ones that I have are limited edition, so maybe I won't mention those too much, but rose is absolutely stunning. It's just, it's what I have on my cheeks today. I have it just very subtly applied, but this is another one that I think would work for all skin tones because you've got this just like gradient of like pinks, peach, rose, and then like a almost opal color at the bottom. So you can use this to highlight, you can use this to warm up the cheeks. So pretty. It does have some shimmer in it. It's a shimmer brick, but it is just something that adds more of a glow than a harsh shimmery effect to your cheeks. It looks beautiful and it just, again, stays put. So pretty. As for mascara, absolutely my favorite higher end mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is a deluxe sample that I have right now, but most likely I'm going to grab a full size because it's just, it's the best for me. If you've got thinner, shorter lashes, this will give you like vavoom lashes. It's amazing. I don't know what it is about this, but I love it. I just, I freaking love it. This brush is just kind of like the bristles are kind of messy and jagged and all over the place, but there's something about this. It works. I don't get any flaking. It sticks around all day and I'm telling you guys, it's amazing stuff. One lip product, and I could have went crazy with lip products, but I decided just to pick one for the sake of this video. So this is the color I have on my lips right now. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy, um, and the color that I have is 210 Impulsive. I really think this would be a nude pink that would be flattering on anybody. It's just a beautiful rose tone, and the formula, am I out of focus? Okay, I really hope I wasn't out of focus there. The formula of these is so creamy, so rich, so pigmented. It just feels really nice. Um, these are, they have the magnetic lids too, so they're, the packaging is really nice as well. I love this color, I love this formula. I do have another color in this as well. The formula is just amazing, but um, highly recommend. All right guys, so those are my Product recommendations, things that I just love, reach for over and over again, that I would repurchase, some that I already have repurchased, and that I think would do good for a lot of different people. Oh, one more thing. One more thing that's not going to be for everyone, but if you have dry skin um, and you want that dewy sort of luminous look, I just noticed last night that Sephora picked up the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Jaclyn Hill talked about this a while ago on Snapchat. I think she mentioned it in one of her favorites. It's what the Kardashian makeup artists use, and this stuff works. You just need to spray a little bit on your face, and hopefully you can tell. It leaves this like dewy finish that literally sticks around. I don't know how they do it. This also smells like lavender, which gets major, 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 major points for me. This is amazing. It's not cheap. I ordered it from the Tatcha website. It's not cheap, but it is amazing. And like I said, it, it will just give you this luminous finish for the entire day. If you have oily skin, stay, stay far away from this because it will make you look like an oil slick. But if you're like me and you're really dry and you want that little bit of luminous dewy finish, uh, Amazing. All right guys, so that is definitely now it for my recommendations. I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to my computer and I'm just gonna show you guys my shopping list on the Sephora website um, under like the love section because I figured that would be the best way to show you my wish list. So if you wanna see that, just keep watching. I'm gonna try to do a live screen filming um, clip here. I've never done this before, so bear with me. I'm not sure how the volume is, but we're gonna see how this goes because I figured it was the easiest way for me to show you my wish list. I'll just scroll through really quick for you guys. So these are the items that I have in my loves um, or my shopping cart for Sephora. Or I guess it's like a shopping list. Anyway, okay, so these are the items that I'm considering. By no means am I going to be purchasing all of these. I may take some out. I may add something new. But these are just generally the items that I have had my eyes on for a while. So the first thing um, are these Huda... Huda, I think they're called, Beauty Classic False Eyelashes. This brand, I believe, is pretty popular with the Kardashians. Sephora just picked them up. I've never bought, like, higher-end lashes before, so I figured 20% off was a good time to try them. Apparently, you can use them multiple times, so 
may try those. I really do need a new eye cream. This I do one um, was a little more affordable than some of the others. Just keep in mind these are all Canadian prices as well. And I had read some good reviews about it. So this is on my radar. There's a perfume I'm really, really interested in. I have not smelled it, but honestly, very few times have I smelled a perfume in person and purchased it. I usually just read the notes and then order it. And this one just looked, it just sounded amazing. So it's the Bulgari. I don't know how you say that. But anyway, um, it just, it sounded like something fresh, but I think it had some citrus notes. I don't know. It sounded really good and the bottle looks beautiful. And I do like picking up a perfume around this time of year because again, an expensive item that you can save some money on. This is the Lancer Volume Enhancing Lip Serum. I'm kind of a skeptic, but I have read some really great reviews. It's apparently supposed to be really moisturizing and also supposed to help you plump your lips. So I may try that. This Burberry Light Glow Natural Blush. I've had my eye on that for a while before Sephora actually started carrying Burberry, which they just recently did. Just a really pretty natural kind of nude looking blush. So I may try that. Um, this is the Hourglass Femme Nude Lip Stilo, Stylo, um, just a really pretty nude kind of lip crayon. I just watched a video that Lisa Eldridge did where she talked about different um, nude lip colors for different skin types and that kind of thing. And she had one of these on in her video and it looked beautiful. So that caught my eye. Um, okay, this is a lip liner from Marc Jacobs. And... Gosh, I'm not sure what the color I chose was here. Let's see if we can click it and see. Oh yeah, Honey Bun. It's just a rosy nude. I just ran out of my Clinique Baby Buff, so I thought it might be fun to try a different one, and that one had some good reviews. So I may try that. This has been out of stock for a while. It's the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. Uh, if it comes back in stock, I will definitely purchase it. Honestly, if it comes back in stock, even when the sale is over, I'll purchase it because I've had my eye on that for a while. There is a lipstick too, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm really into the liquid lipstick version of this. I've looked at a lot of pictures and this one just looks extra pretty to me. So we will see. Two items from Tony Moly. I have tried a few of their items when I was reviewing Mimi boxes. They have some really great stuff. I love their lip balm. So this little pocket bunny sleek mist I thought would be really cute little um, face mist to keep in my purse and I just love the packaging. And then I've also been wanting to try the Aura Beam which is a primer and illuminizer all in one. So that is in my shopping cart or shopping list. Oh my gosh you guys. I wonder how much this would be if I purchased it all. Obviously I'm not doing this but um, I don't know, I just have my eyes on a lot of things. Another Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. This one is limited edition. It's just in the color pink. It looks kind of similar to the rose one that I showed you guys in my suggestions video. Just looks a little more brighter. Um, mm, it looks beautiful though, so that may, that may happen, not sure. This is the Marc Jacobs uh, lip gloss in, I think the color is called Moon Glow. I forget who I saw talking about this. It might have been Jaclyn Hill. It might have been, I think it was Jaclyn Hill. Soft pink nude. It just looks beautiful. I'm scared that it may run out because um, I think it was out of stock originally when I put it in my cart. But anyway, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm on the US site. Whoops, let's switch over to Canada. And now we can make everything that much more expensive. Okay. So now my fancy eye cream is $48. Ugh, my perfume is $78. Oh well. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, okay, so the next thing I have here is the Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting Blush. And this is in the shade Love Hangover. And it's just a warm pink. I've seen this swashed and it looks um, really beautiful. Again, just kind of a nudie pink. So that is possibility. Um, okay, this I think is a definite. It's the Sephora Favorites Brow Raising Brow Wardrobe. I'm just about out of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz anyway. There's one of those in here and then there's just a bunch of other cool brow products that I've been wanting to try. 
pretty sure this is a definite for me. This is another one that I think is a definite. It's been in my cart for a while. It's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Again, just another primer that has a little bit of luminosity. Um, I won't get both of these. I'm more leaning towards Becca because, I don't know, I just, I feel like this one might be a little bit better, but I don't know, I haven't tried them. If you guys have tried them, I'd love to know your thoughts. This little kit from Becca looks really cool. Um, it's in the shade Opal. I don't actually have any of the Opal highlighters, and this one comes with a little liquid and a powder. They're not, you know, large sizes, but a little of this stuff will go a long way. So as long as that's in stock, I think that'll probably be a, a definite. Two more things. I've got the Dry Bar Sparkling Soda Shine Mist in the full size, which I showed you guys and kind of mentioned already. I just love this stuff for my hair, so I'm definitely going to grab that. And then I also have the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I did throw the full size in my shopping list, whatever the heck this thing is here, but um, I'll probably, this breaks my heart, I'll probably just get the smaller size. I love this stuff so much, but it's so freaking expensive, so I might just try to go uh, with the smaller size again and use it a little bit more sparingly than I did the last time because I went I have gone through like an entire small bottle already um but I loved it so much but I just this stuff does get expensive when you add it all to your cart so anyway these are just the items I'm considering um let me know if you guys have tried any if any of these are must-haves or must-removes and yeah that's it guys Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to hear some of your um, recommendations or your wish list items in the comments below. Please don't forget to check out Melody, Lisa, and Linda. Their videos or their channels will be linked in the description box. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.